So we're gonna count to three and we're gonna say what? Boo two? Boo yeah. two. Say you suck, girls. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all ready? Ready. ready? ready. On three. One, two, three. Boo two! There we go. I missed it. Two. We need to do something else. <laughs> wait, wait, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gotten bigger this year. Manland is behind the scenes with Ranger Cookie. And I said behind the scenes. Hey, 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 <laughs> baby boy. Shooting this video here with the Equip two-person hammock rated for 400 pounds. In case you're wondering if this hammock will handle the weight for a real man, we have an 827-pound gentleman in there right now. Anytime you're ready. Oh. <laughs> Hi. And I'm not 827, I'm 727. I'm sorry, I added 100 pounds. <laughs> now, continue on. Continue on to what? I just want to show them the strength of this hammock. What do you want me to do? Well, bounce up and down a little bit. Don't do you? this. There you go. This oh. thing can handle it. How about this? This hit. These hammocks will absolutely carry the weight. Now, on a serious note, I weigh 257 pounds. Which is more than me, not by much. So, you know, they will, they will hold the weight, absolutely. I sleep in one that's rated for 350 pounds, and I have no problem with it at all. At all. It carries yep. my weight. I sleep great in it. And we're going to give a shout out to Lee Ralph of Lee Ralph's Self-Reliance to Pathway something other. <laughs> the Pathway to Self-Reliance. That's right. That's right. Because Lee just recently purchased a hammock exactly like this. And with that, I shall return. <laughs> <laughs> so long. Hey, everybody. Oh, it looks bright on here. Cool. It is nowhere near this kind of daylight right now. It's so daggum dark I can't see my hand before my eyes right here. Amateur artist Mark D. Chandler from Manland. I got my hammock set up and it's got dark. We got a few of our folks here trickling in and I feel so bad because I didn't uh, I didn't actually get to film anything just yet. We've been sitting there talking and talking and talking. The Parker Ridges got here. I've been talking to Ranger Cookie and the grumpy guy and North Mutt North Carolina is here with his wife so far and of course Donnie Pavolini of Donnie Pavolini Outdoors so there may not be much video being shot right now so if you don't mind I'm gonna shut this video off and see if I can't get something going on maybe a little bit later on or maybe tomorrow just been having a good time sitting here talking to everybody man it's just like old times I tell you actually it is kinda like new times so who knows I'll, I'll get back with you and let you know what's going on okay alright Ranger Cookie found a hollow log and not actually hollow all the way through but it was rotten all the way through we put a little bit of cooking oil in there trying something out we have an actual Swedish fire log without any work whatsoever that is neat 
Damn, it's almost to the bottom. Down going down that far that quick? Yeah, it's Golly. <laughs> oh, I don't have reference, but we got Grumpy Guy. And Ranger Cookie. And there's the cookies. And of course the man behind the camera, y'all know who I am. But we're just gonna feature this right here. We're this is a no burn uh, band thing here. We're finna knock this out with some water. But you know us, we had to get in and play. We're just boys playing. But it sure is feeling good. What do you think the temperature is right now? 73-ish? 74 or so. 74, 73, something like that. Comfortable. <laughs> Very comfortable. And that right there is putting out some kind of light. My little hurricane light's not doing much of nothing over there, that little wick. But Cookie has got a nice little propane light there, a one mantle burner. That thing is throwing some light. Now the little two battery upper, the, you see the blue lights, there's one toward my hammock. Got from the Dollar General store. I do not recommend you buying these, okay? Don't do it. If you come now, you might get us a giveaway. That's right. <laughs> when I leave Sunday, it's going to be a giveaway. <laughs> hey, we're going to burn that cord up here, are we? Uh-uh. Next to the lantern? Let's we'll nah. see. see how hot I it is. I bet it's getting hot. No, it's too cold. Cool. Bottom is a little warm. All right, so I'm going to get some water, and we're going to knock this thing out right quick. As Big Dude says, bye, y'all. Well, good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> Slept in the old hammock there. Just got myself up. Took the usual morning constitutional. Out uh, there in one of the greatest restrooms you've ever seen in your life. All kind of squirrels are watching. That was fun. Uh, got here yesterday afternoon last night and found out there's a burn ban. We're not allowed to make campfires. Yeah. Well, that's okay. We got the backup propane. And today, this morning rather, we'll try some of this neighborhood blend coffee by Einstein Brothers and Bagels. Sent to me by EDC Outdoors. Thank you, brother. I've been holding on to this and that other one just for this event. And here we got the Skeeter Snail Percolator. Thank you, Brother Skeeter. I brought my favorite one with me. <laughs> Let me get the old stove here going. I'll get back and share a cup of coffee with you. Whew. Oh, look at that right there. Don't that speak volumes to you. Now that right there is definitely speaking a very good wake-up language to me. Right now, this morning, she's a percolating, saying, drink me, drink me. Oh my goodness. Sounds like we got a train in the background. With the sun, she's arising. Oh my goodness. You can hear the squirrels talking. The birds are chirping. And that's the first damn thing that woke me up this morning. And I thought I had noisy neighbors at the apartment. <sighs> Brother EDC, here's to you, mate. <sighs> Man, that there's some good coffee. That's a guarantee. Never had professional grade coffee like that in a long time. Not unless I stop at a truck top or something. Ah, mighty fine. The best part of waking up is coffee in a green cup. <laughs> and to Chris Collier out there, amongst that box of goodies he sent was some friendship bracelets that had the Canadian logo on there. And I stuck one around my favorite green cup, the one that I had from the very beginning, to make sure it doesn't get mixed up in amongst of all these green cups we got out here. Mm. Well, right now, I happen to be by myself in this little area, so I guess you could say that I technically did a solo overnighter. Slept in the, the hammock there. No tarpoleum above me. Was a little concerned about the condensation through the night. You know how it does. Didn't have a problem with that. Got a little bit on the cover, but never got chilled. Do not know what the temperature got down to. I'm going to flash it across the screen when I... I have to look it up on the internet to find out how cold it supposedly got. I stayed completely comfortable. 
but I did sleep on my back. I was going to sleep on my side. And I don't know why I didn't roll over on my, using my left side. I don't know why I didn't roll over. And I actually fell asleep, but the nightlight I had, and I'll show you that light in a little bit. The nightlight is at the end of the, of the hammock there, and it's constantly shining in my eyes. Now, I'm not used to that. I'm definitely not used to that. So I'm going to have to rearrange it to the other side. I kept it on as a little night light. And that's all that light is good for. Got it at the Dollar General Store. It is a night light. That is it. It don't help you to see nothing. Uh, or, oh, there's one hanging right there. Let's see if I can show it to you. Hang on. Got to get my coffee cup here rearranged. Ah. Give me a little. Ah. There that little cotton picker is. I'll tell you. That's one of them. It's not much to it. Okay, I'm going to try to use the top of my cooler here for a demonstration. Now, the light, of course, is on. This is from Dollar General Store. I got exactly what I paid for it, but it's around three bucks. I bought two of them. And it holds three AA batteries. Now, here's the problem with the light. First of all, at night, uh, I think you've seen some of it on the nighttime video. I'll try to get some better shots of it tonight. It's nothing more than a night light. And in other words, when it shines, it just lets you know, hey, I'm right here. It's kind of a marker deal. As far as shining a light out to where you can see, it does in a way. But if you're using it to travel, to walk from one campsite to another, the amount of light that it puts out is just, it's, it's just not worth it. You're better off with a flashlight. Now, I like it because it's small, compact, it is on batteries, and it's lightweight, but they have a little default, and we'll show you here. The light is now off, and it's not designed to do that on purpose, because ladies and gentlemen, what happens is, and you probably have already taken the guess, uh, I can't get the bottom unscrewed. There we go is because you're about to see what's about to happen the batteries become detached from where they're supposed to be positioned and that is very easy to fix yes a piece of cardboard in there or something would make that a lot better lights back on but kind of a defect in other words you have to mod it to make it work properly did not know that until I actually got these things out here and used them, put them to use. The little test I did was there at the house inside the bathroom, closed the door so it was totally, totally enclosed. And even then I wasn't that impressed with the, the so-called computer design to reflect, refract the light and make it work better. I don't know. This is, this is not very, very well done, in my opinion. However, I mean, it is what it is. So there you have it. Manland not approved. Skeeter, I'm gonna tell you, man. That percolator, that percolator was a percolating. I tell you what. Skeeter Snail gave me this several, several years ago. I say several, not like a hundred years ago. About what, three years ago, Skeeter? I think it was. Sent it to me. And we've used that thing there at the house and everywhere else. And I didn't get to bring it last year to the first vu. Told my wife, said this year, she's definitely coming with us. And the ECD Adventures, brother, that coffee, oh man, it hits the spot. It's a real good, rich flavor. And it's like the coffee in this percolator, for some reason, was made to go together. Know what I mean? <laughs> yes, sir. Cookie just left to go back to get some grits. And we're trying to figure out how we're going to do this cooking here. You know, that's... That's the thing to put the damper on our spirits here, is they have a burn ban. We can't get a campfire going. You know, it's kind of like going to the movie theater and they tell you you can't watch the movie. You have to turn your back to it or something. I, I don't get it. But anyway, we're making the most of it. We're campers and survivalists and bushcrafters and that type of thing. We, we make things work. Of course, we might, to find a, might need to find us a hole around here and build us a fire in a hole somewhere like one of the cold fire pits. Hey, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Hmm. 